Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and today I'm going to show you how to use screen filler and drawing fluid to create a semi-permanent design for a screen print. Using drawing fluid and filler creates a more permanent screen design than using a paper stencil because it creates um, a screen that can be washed without removing the design. It can also be a more detailed design than you might be able to achieve on a paper stencil. This method is easier to DIY than doing an exposed screen at home, so it's a really good technique to get to grips with. So our speedball screen drawing fluid and screen filler are designed to be used in conjunction with one another. The screen filler is what's going to block the mesh to stop the ink from going through. So that's gonna act like our paper stencil almost. The drawing fluid is a bit more like, if you're a painter, you might have used masking fluid before. It's a resist. So it's going to resist our screen filler. I'm going to paint a design onto the screen. That's going to be the design I want to print. So the positive image. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the screen with screen filler. The drawing fluid will then be washed out, creating open areas of mesh for the ink to go through, leaving just the screen filler behind, blocking the ink. You can choose to use the screen filler on its own if you want to. In that case, you need to paint the screen filler anywhere you don't want ink going through the mesh. But I find it easier to use the drawing fluid to paint the design first and then fill it with screen filler. I've got my design drawing, drawn here, nice and bold and I'm going to put it underneath my screen and roughly centre it. I can then use a soft pencil, I've got an 8B here, to sketch my design onto the mesh. That way I don't have to freehand it with my paintbrush. I now got my design drawn on my screen, I can take my image away. I'm going to flip my screen, so I'm going to work on the back. So this is the side where the mesh is flush with the frame. That way your mesh is raised off the table. I'm going to pour a bit of my drawing fluid into a separate container. It's best not to dip your brush directly in the pot as it keeps it fresher for longer. So now I'm going to paint directly onto the mesh. I want to paint anywhere that I want ink to go through in my design. So I'm painting the positive image. I now need to wait until this drawing fluid is completely dry. It's not a light sensitive process, so you can just leave it out overnight to harden off. Note that at this stage, your design should be backwards. When you draw your design, you want it to look as how you want it to be printed. So when you flip it, this should be backwards. If you've got any words on your design, they need to be forwards on your drawing when you trace them, and they should be backwards here. Now our screen is completely dry, we're ready to add the screen filler. The screen filler is going to block out any areas of mesh where we don't want ink to go through. But I don't want to fill the whole screen with screen filler because that would be a waste. So what I'm going to do is tape around the image so that I just have to do the screen filler in the very specific area. So I'm now going to use a squeegee to just pull the screen filler over my open area of design. And that screen filler is going to block all that open mesh. You can see where it's glided straight over the drawing fluid. The excess screen filler has been scraped away so now this can go and dry again. Now the screen filler has completely dried and set. What we need to do now is wash out the drawing fluid so it just leaves the screen filler behind. You can just do this with a normal shower hose. Now I've got all of that drawing fluid washed out and there's just screen filler left behind. My oak leaves are now open mesh that will let ink through and the screen filler is completely blocking the mesh. This needs to dry again. So the screen's now ready to print with. The screen filler is completely dry. 
You can go in with a paintbrush with this green fillet and do any touch ups or any little details that you want and wait for it to dry again. So I've taped up the screen. I've taped in any mesh that doesn't have screen filler on so that no ink can get through it. I've only done that on the front, but you can do both sides if you prefer. I'm gonna be printing using Speedball Opaque Fabric Screen Printing Ink in gold for this design. And I've got a tea towel pinned out on a padded board. So this board is made using a piece of blanket and then some cotton stretched over a piece of wood. But you can use any slightly padded surface or you, you can even put a towel down. It just helps to get a nice even print when you're printing on fabric. So I'm gonna hold the screen still with one hand and have the squeegee at a 45 degree angle. Drag it down the design. Leave any excess ink behind. Go back to the top, 45 degrees again, this time press hard. Lift up to reveal your print. We're now gonna move this screen around the um, fabric to print lots of leaves all over it. I'm going to be careful not to put a screen down on a wet print, so I'm gonna keep moving it and only print over the top when that layer is dry. You can scrape off any excess ink to go back in the pot. And then use a bucket of cold water and a really soft sponge wrung out so that it's just damp to clean the ink off your screen. You want to do this immediately after printing so that no ink can dry in the mesh, especially with metallic inks because they can sometimes dry a little faster. This should remove all the ink from your mesh but leave behind the screen filler so that you can use your screen over and over again with different coloured inks and on different days. I am going to remove the tape at the end of this session. It's best not to leave the tape on for too long. So at the end of your printmaking day, you can remove the tape and then just replace it next time. When you're completely finished with your screen, the screen filler can be removed using Speed Clean and hot water to get it back to an open mesh screen to use for another design. We have all of these products on our website, handprinted.co.uk, including the screen filler and drawing fluid, the screen, the tea towel, the inks, and everything else you should need to do this project and lots more. Have a look. We've also got lots more projects on our blog there as well. Happy printing.